Hey guys, it's Wendy and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little different than the videos I've filmed in the past and it's going to be a jean collection. So today I have nine pairs to show you guys, five of which are from Madewell and four of which are from Levi's. Surprise! I actually have 10 pairs to show you because I just received another pair from Levi's. These are my two favorite jean brands. They are just such high quality. They have so many different styles, different shades, and just fit me really well. Just for some context, I am 5'2". I typically wear a size 0 or 2, or the corresponding numbers to that is 24, 25. Because I'm pretty short, jeans are typically too long for me, so I oftentimes have to roll my jeans up or just get them tailored. Now, just some info about Madewell and Levi jeans. So, I like Madewell jeans because they just really hug your body and fit super well. Many of their jeans aren't 100% cotton, so they are a little bit stretchy and as a result, really adhere to your body. They also have a petite line, which is great for you shorties out there. And they have free tailoring if you become a Madewell Insider, which is completely free and easy to do. Levi jeans just have such a classic vintage look. Everyone knows you are wearing a pair from the pocket to the red little Levi's tag on the back. They definitely have a lot more of a structured look the pairs i have from levi's most of them are 100 percent cotton so they're super thick even after you wash them they will sort of keep their shape and their quality i tend to wear my levi's jeans when i want to go for that more like vintage laid back look and if i'm wearing an outfit that is a bit more fitted i will go for my middle jeans i actually did get almost all of these jeans on sale so be sure to look out for coupon codes and sales that are going on all right so without further ado i'm gonna go and try on all my jeans so starting off with the first pair of jeans, these are the Levi wedgie jeans in the color Shut Up and Dance, and I have them in a size 24. The wedgies, I would say, is one of their most popular fits. These are a lighter blue wash with some white threads running through them, and like the name suggests, they are pretty tight in the back, so make your bottom look really good. They are 100% cotton, so have little stretch. I definitely suggest sizing up if you are not sure. These, as well as the next three pairs, have a four button enclosure in the front, these have a 26 inch inseam, which is too long for me, so I wear them rolled up. These are truly just a perfect pair of vintage jeans that will last you forever. Moving on to my second pair of wedgie jeans. These are in the wash collateral damage. These are sort of a lighter blue and have more of a consistent color throughout the jean because there's less of that white thread. They have these amazing rips on them, so I like wearing these jeans when I want to feel a little bit more edgy. And these are in a size 26 and they fit me just fine. So again, just reiterating that you can definitely size up. These are too long for me. I believe they are a 28 inch inseam. So I wear them rolled up. Again, great quality and they never lose their shape. These are actually my newest Levi's. I just got them in the mail this week. These are again the wedgie fit jeans, but this time in the straight version. They are again 100% cotton. I got them in the color authentically yours and they're in a size 24 and a 26 inseam. You can pick the inseam for this pair of jeans. They are pretty close in color to my normal wedgies in Shut Up and Dance, but they have a little bit more of a teal tint to them. I really like these for the more wearable rips that these have. I also oftentimes find that some straight jeans can sort of consume me because the bottoms are too wide. And I like how these are straight, but also sort of maintain a skinny jean look. Onto the third pair, these are the 501 skinnies. These are also a very popular fit by Levi's and I have them in the color Moody Marble in a size 24. These are also 100% cotton, but don't feel as tight as the wedgies. They are super structured, hold you in really well. These were actually a 30 inch inseam, so I had to cut them. For my last pair of Levi's, I actually thrifted them, so I don't know too much info on them. I just know that they are called the High Rise Skinny and are in the size 26. They have a really nice sort of gray dark wash tone to them. They originally came with no rips, so I distressed them myself and I feel like it turned out pretty well. They have some stretch to them and they are a little bit long, so I like to wear them rolled up. Definitely super happy with this find. All right, so now we are on to my Madewell jeans. I actually really like the back of Madewell jeans with the tag and the little M. These are the stovepipe jeans in the Holborn wash in a size 23 regular, and they have a 26 and a half inseam and a 10 and a half inch rise, so they're super high-waisted. 
I did get this pair as well as most of my other Madewell jeans hemmed through Madewell, so the inseams I'm telling you are pre-tailoring. These are super stretchy and comfortable like most of my Madewell jeans. They are only 88% cotton. They have a really cute unfinished hem and are perfect to wear with boots. These are the 9 inch mid-rise skinny jean in the York wash and I got them in the petite version. So they have a 26 inch inseam and I got these in a size 23. These are 98% cotton, so they really hold their shape well. They have some slight rips on the knee and are just kind of like a nice gray dark wash. The only thing is I can't roll them up because they have this fabric showing in the back of the detailing. These are the 10 inch high rise skinny jeans in the Rosecliff wash. I got them in a size 24 regular. They have a 28 and a half inseam, but I did get them tailored through Madewell. These are unique because they have the four button detailing in the front. They are 90% cotton, so definitely have some stretch to them. And they only have slight distressing, making them work appropriate. Now, these are my first pair of Madewell jeans ever, and they are the ones I definitely get the most compliments on. They are also the 10 inch high rise skinnies. They have a 28 and a half inseam, and I got them in a size 23 regular. I don't know the wash of these, I could not find it anywhere. I did get them hemmed again through Madewell because they were too long for me. These are 92% cotton, but they're so stretchy and comfortable and really, really show the shape of my body very well. And last but not least, this is my newest pair of Madewell jeans and it's quickly become one of my favorites. This is the perfect vintage jean in the Rosabelle wash. I got it in a size 23 regular and got them hemmed through Madewell. They originally have a 26 and a half inseam and they have an 11 inch high rise. These are 99% cotton, so are extremely fitted and hold you in nicely. These are also a straight fit. I love the rip and the raw hem detailing and I think that the wash is perfect for summer. All right guys, so that is going to be all my jeans. That's my entire jean collection. I had kind of trouble finding a good angle to film this video, so hopefully you still got a good sense of all these jeans, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Take time to get